Here we presents the top 5 best 10 inch tablets. Starting at number 5, Samsung Galaxy Tab S6. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 gets a lot right for an Android tablet. It has a speedy Qualcomm Snapdragon 855 processor and flexible storage with 128 GB or 256 GB, which can both be expanded up to 1 TB with a Micris card. Samsung's recent updates to its DeX mode even make the Tab S6 a more viable laptop substitute than earlier models. The S6 tablet comes with the updated S Pen stylus. Now with a more angular design, the S Pen remains a great tool for drawing or taking handwritten notes on the tablet. I didn't find a new shape off-putting, but the pen's lightweight may be strange for people who are used to the heftier weight of a traditional pencil or another typical writing tool. When in use, a small icon appears on the screen giving you direct access to productivity apps that work with the S Pen, including notes and on-screen writing, which makes it easy to quickly jot down any miscellaneous notes or to-do lists. Although writing on a screen does not feel the same as writing on paper, the stylus glides smoothly across the tablet while accurately recording the writing, so it gets the job done. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S6 is a great update to last year's premium Android tablet, but doesn't make the case for ditching the iPad Pro, Surface Pro or other options. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. At number 4. Amazon Fire HD 10 Kids. Amazon doesn't blame you if you don't trust your drop-prone child with a pricey, high-end tablet. That's why it made the Amazon Fire HD 10 Kids Edition, a variant of its all-new Amazon Fire HD 10. Like its Fire HD 8 Kids Edition and Fire 7 Kids Edition predecessors, this child-friendly version of Amazon's latest tablet packs extensive parental controls. Plus, it comes with a complimentary two-year worry-free warranty for the accidental, inevitable damage that's to come with the mundane mishaps of childhood. The Fire HD 10 Kids Edition also costs $50 more than the standard Fire HD 10, but the kids' version comes with a protective case, two-year warranty and free time. However, the Fire HD 10 will be on sale as a part of a Black Friday Amazon deal for $99. The kid's case alone costs $35, and it's about $25 for Amazon's accidental damage protection plan. So you can end up paying $40 less for a childproof tablet if you snag the Fire HD 10 when it's on sale. The appearance of the Fire HD 10 Kids Edition tablet is identical to that of the big bezeled 10. 3x6, 3x0, 4 inch Fire HD 10, but the standard 17. 7-ounce tablet is consumed by the Kids Edition's primary design feature, it's chunky, 11. 5x8. 1x1. 0-inch protective case. The Fire HD 10 Kids Edition is fun to use, and feels more premium than the Fire HD 8 Kids Edition, shortening the quality gap between the iPad and other tablets for kids. While you're relieved of iPad-style costs, $199 does seem pricey for a children's device. But the included warranty, free year of free time and cute protective case add to its value. Halfway of my listed number 3. Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro. The Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro is similar to the 8-inch Yoga Tab 3 8 in name only. The 10. 1-inch Pro has a larger sharper screen, a more premium design, a faster processor, and a built-in projector. Lenovo calls it the ultimate video tablet, and that's not far from the mark. The rear kickstand is great for watching Netflix and YouTube on the tablet's sharp display, and the projector makes it easy to share that content with the crowd. You'll pay a premium for these features, similar to what you will for other high-end tablets like the Apple iPad Air 2 and the Samsung Galaxy Tab S2 9. 7. All three have their strengths, and if your focus is video watching, the Lenovo Yoga Tab 3 Pro is worth considering. The projector itself is situated right in the middle of the cylinder, and when you flip out the kickstand from the back of the tablet, you can project whatever's on the tablet screen onto a nearby screen or wall. When projecting, you can rotate your finger clockwise or counterclockwise on the tablet screen to focus the image. Under the kickstand is a removable flap that hides a micrist slot. It's fairly difficult to manipulate, I had to use a pen to pry it open. The tablet is powered by a quad-core Intel Atom X5 Z8500 processor that clocks in at 2. 24 GHz, and its performance is in line with other high-end tablets. 
The tablet scored a solid 45,873 on the Antutu benchmark, comparable with the Samsung Exynos-powered Galaxy Tab S2. You won't have any trouble switching between apps or playing graphics-intensive games, though the Tab S2 has an edge in multitasking, thanks to the Samsung tablet's ability to open up six separate windows at once on the tablet's 9.7-inch display. Lenovo's Yoga Tab 3 Pro is a high-end Android tablet with a built-in projector that's great for watching and sharing video. For more information and price, check out the product links in description. Coming in at number 2. Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e is a sleek and impressively lightweight mid-range Android tablet. After around four months of wait, Samsung finally launched it in India last week. It is not an affordable tablet, but it's still a lot cheaper than Samsung's flagship Galaxy Tab S4. While the Tab S4 is built for pros, the S5e focuses more on content consumers and binge watchers who might also use it to work on the go. Not to forget it has also got a Qualcomm Snapdragon 670 which makes games like PUBG Mobile playable, where it fits in your hand better at the same time. The Galaxy Tab S5e boasts a 10.5-inch display, Snapdragon 670 chipset, 4GB of RAM and 64GB of storage. We reviewed the cellular variant, which is slightly costly than the Wi-Fi only option. So we had an all-packed experience of the S5e. But does it have the edginess that makes it better than the two-year-old iPad at this price? We find out. The Samsung Galaxy Tab S5e finds itself in an almost unique position. The Apple iPad at this price range is a two-year-old offering. The only area where the iPad excels is the software and the design. Everything else feels better on the Tab S5e. The sleek form factor, stunning display, and great audio make it a go-to tablet for those looking for an entertainment device on the go. Additional capabilities like expandable memory and good battery life make it an even more convincing buy. If you're looking for a tablet to use as a media device, the Tab S5e could well fit the bill. DeX is a useful productivity feature, but we'd like to see more from it in the future. And number 1. Apple iPad 10. 2-inch. My 6-year-old son saw the newest iPad from Apple sitting on a table in my living room. It had its keyboard cover on, an accessory Apple makes that now also works with the most affordable iPad. He asked me, if the iPad has a keyboard, is it an iPad and a computer? I paused and half nodded. I mean, okay, well, welcome to the world of the iPad. iPads aren't things most people circle as a must upgrade. They get one, live with them for years, keep them around to their kids, use them as a spare screen. That's the best compliment to the success of the iPad is what it was always intended to be, an easy, perfectly browsable tablet. The new iPad isn't something you'll need, unless, of course, you need one. If you're looking for a good versatile tablet, this is it. It's more than capable for browsing, doing basic work and playing games on Apple Arcade. It can use the multitasking abilities of Apatos decently enough. I buy iPads when they're on sale, which happens a lot. I got last year's 128GB 9. 7-inch iPad for $299 this summer. That's a great price for me. When this year's iPad goes on a similar sale, you should definitely go for it. For kids, $300 or more is still a lot for a tablet, even if the iPad is worth it. Amazon's affordable Fire tablets are great budget picks. The last version of the iPad, which is the same A10 processor, is frequently on sale. There isn't much else in tablet land anymore. Google's giving up the Android tablet game and Samsung's offerings are far more expensive. Apple has won the tablet war of attrition, and the affordable, if unexciting iBit is probably its best budget product. I have included these product link in the description. You can check out this link for more information and latest price. Thank you for watching this video. Please hit the like button. Share with your friends. And be sure to subscribe.